to survive, the goats evolved to live high up in the mountains. Cold winds blowing from all sides, solar radiation, problems with breathing due to lack of oxygen, a perfect place to hide from predators, but not from them. This is a bobcat, and it climbed on top of a cactus to escape from the lion. They can't eat you if you climb there because climbing will hurt them, but what do mountain goats have to do with it? They chose mountains as shelter and learned to climb really high. Surprisingly enough, it worked. Look, who doesn't mind eating a mountain goat? Wolves, bears, wolverines, sometimes lynxes, even the most agile of them can never climb steep cliffs, so they will hardly take any risks. No, some, of course, try anyway. When you're hungry enough, and moreover, you're a grizzly bear, you wouldn't mind eating a goat, especially since they're quite big and nutritious. But catching up with the goat is a challenging task. What looks like steep rocks to any other animal is just a walking path for the goats. Check this out. They don't seem to care that walking a surface like that usually requires great caution. In short, the bear stands no chance. The only predator that is somehow adapted to hunting in such an environment is the cougar. But even for this animal, hunting a mountain goat is a deadly risk. Falling will hurt too much. So here's the seemingly perfect plan. Living where no one will eat you, if not for one thing. Eagles do not need to climb rocks to reach their prey. For them, the mountain is something like a buffet, where they can choose any dish they want. The only problem is the weight. You probably can't carry a huge pot on a tray. Do not check it. Seriously, don't. Likewise, eagles simply can't lift an adult mountain goat. And even if they can, they'll not be able to take off with it. Moreover, the goat usually objects to being eaten. But the eagles can't just give up the prey, can they? And so the birds came up with the idea to use the laws of physics. Instead of fighting prey somewhere on a rock, the eagles suddenly grab the mountain goats and push them down. Well, then you can count on the force of gravity, which will do all the dirty work. The only thing left for the eagle is to fly down when it's over and have a quiet lunch. Yes, yeah, science! Of course, a lot depends on the specific bird. A bald eagle can carry prey a little heavier than itself, that is about 15 pounds. But the golden eagles are not that strong. The best they can do is lift 20% of their weight. It's about two pounds. By the way, bald eagles have learned to handle the excess weight while fishing. These birds love fish. They often eat it, but sometimes the prey is too large. Where would you drop it? The fish is already in the water, so the eagle dives after it, grabs it with its claws, and swims to the shore. Seriously, eagles can swim. Not like some ducks that move their paws to do this. The predator paddles as if it's been practicing butterfly all its life. And it's doing great. In fact, this is like flying in water. The movements are quite similar, and thanks to the strong muscles, the eagle feels comfortable. It actually uses the tips of its wings to paddle. Honestly, this guy has to partake in the Olympics. It could have competed for gold. Seven with a rim under the Never had one before, and look at this guy. He's going to be. And then I thought, after all, athletes train to achieve certain results, make their body stronger, get used to loads. Perhaps if animals learn to do the same, they could lift more weight. And then I saw this video. You get it, right? Eagles really know how muscles work. They often pick up branches to exercise or play, sometimes take off with them, drop them, and pick them up again. This is how the birds prepare for the hunt and train their bodies to carry heavy weight. Well, you know, the goat will hardly agree to be part of such training. However, sometimes you don't need exercise. Just choose a baby goat as your lunch, and all the wolves around will be jealous. Because even very young mountain goats already know how to hop over rocks in such a way that is impossible to keep up with them. But how can anyone have such climbing skills unless they're Spider-Man? Spider goats? And, and these, these are your spider goats. These are the spider goats. Okay. I'll tell you about this animal some other time, but for now, let's look at the hooves of mountain goats. They are split, narrow, and very hard at the edges, and the sole of the hoof features a soft pad that can practically stick to the surface of the stone, assuming its shape. The hard edge prevents slipping, so the hoof is firmly fixed in one place. Besides, remember that hoof is split. Its halves can be moved apart if necessary. Don't forget the powerful muscles that keep the mountain goats in constant motion and the perfect sense of balance. If the animal jumps onto the ledge and it feels it's slipping, it immediately jumps off and keeps hopping until it stands without faltering. No wonder that keeping up with the mountain goats is simply impossible. Go! Go! 
but nature has a weird sense of humor. The goats have adapted to the most incredible living environment, climbed as high as possible, hid from predators, only to die under avalanches and rockfalls. Because you can't run away from the raging mountains, even if you have the best balance on the planet, perfect coordination, and sticky hooves. As a result, avalanches and rockfalls kill more mountain goats than all predators combined. Mountain goat would be lucky to get caught in an avalanche of wet snow. It moves at about 25 miles per hour, which means you can outrun it. But simple snow avalanches accelerate to 186 miles per hour. Unless there's a racing car on the slope, the goats simply do not stand a chance. But some do get lucky. You know what the most interesting thing is? Some avalanches are caused by the goats themselves. Of course, it's unlikely they do it on purpose. Moreover, a huge mass of snow usually does not need a special reason to slide down the mountain. It could be caused by increased precipitation, by thinning of snow cover, or by a goat running at the wrong time in the wrong place. Hmm, what if this avalanche was a warning? You have 24 hours to get rid of all the eagles. All of them! Or you'll see avalanches every day! A few minutes later... Eagles! I said get rid of all the eagles! You got it all wrong! Okay, okay, goats are really carried by helicopters, but not because of the avalanches. No, these helicopters are not controlled by eagles. No, these helicopters are not predatory. Once, mountain goats were brought to Olympic National Park to, to be honest, I did not find the exact reason why. Maybe they did it for the sake of hunting. Or maybe the goats moved from their native Cascade Mountains on their own. But the result was unexpected yet predictable at the same time. What happens to animals when they find themselves in a comfortable environment where predators cannot reach them? Naturally, they begin to multiply. Every year, this increasingly threatens the 20 native plants and animals that are endemic to this national park. So the helicopters came in handy. But perhaps no one would relocate mountain goats if they had not started attacking people. Why? Goats simply need salt. In Olympic National Park, you will not find it in the wild. So the animals figured out they could find it in people's sweat. Sounds harmless. Imagine a huge muscular beast who can weigh up to 309 pounds and has strong horns is approaching you, clearly with ill intentions. At least one death from a mountain goat attack has already been reported, so let them move to their homeland. Remember I mentioned mountain goats as a hunting target? People love hunting them in the Colorado mountains, and it's a pretty bold choice. Mountain goat hunting is arguably the most dangerous form of big game hunting in North America. The rugged terrain and extraordinary climbing ability of this animal create almost unbearable conditions for humans. Almost every year, several hunters die in the highlands of the Rocky Mountains, Canada, and Alaska. Slips and falls kill some, others die of hypothermia. To get to potential prey, a hunter has to climb rocks, because usually no transport can get there. Also, try to catch up with a goat that spent all its life in these mountains. Hey, I'm here! And now there! And now I'm here! Hey! It is incredibly difficult for humans to deal with mountain goats. Even the most formidable predators get to them only occasionally. A perfect life. Only the damn eagles ruin everything. See you later.